Hi YouTube. Um, today I would like to talk a little bit about um, weight loss while having Graves' disease and a hyperactive thyroid and while you're on the medicine because they slow down your metabolism and make weight loss almost impossible. But just about almost. But it is possible. Um, the way that I did it was through exercise. First and foremost, exercise was the key in me losing fat and losing the weight while still taking medicine and still having um, this autoimmune stuff. And uh, autoimmune diseases, they all start in the gut. So it's very important to heal the gut first before we expect to get a little bit better. So I became, I started reading books on the leaky gut syndrome because probably that's the probable cause why all this occurs. And uh, the first thing that I did I eliminated all breads from my diet. It doesn't matter if it's wheat, none of it is any good. Um, the only bread that actually works for me because of my disease is Ezekiel bread, which is from sprouted seeds. And that is very much more gentler on our system than all these flours that are being processed and uh, sold to us. So, no white flour, no wheat flour, none of that stuff. Um, I also eliminated rice from my diet too. And uh, I cut down on the dairy and I cut down on the processed meats, like any lunch meat, you know, that is being sold as well. It's really uh, not good for you. Because before the graves, my diet consisted of sandwiches mostly and cooked stews, which was still heavy on processed stuff. And that has to, that has to go. Um, so the main, the main thing that needs to be done is the carbs to be eliminated and, uh, don't be scared because you will still feel full when you eat clean food. And if you decide to go with like higher fats and lower carb, kind of similar to keto, the fats do keep you feel saturated for a very long time. So you're not going to feel hungry, um, as fast as you would think that you were you're gonna be getting hungry um, like clean foods that I started eating um, was chicken breast that is very low in fat and uh, high in protein and protein is very the key I started seeing a lot of changes when I upped my protein intake because I hardly had any and I'm not talking about here you know eating hamburgers and stuff like that but cooking at home and grilling them not frying them no frying stuff so that would be chicken breast. I can't do turkey, I'm not used to turkey. But turkey breast is, is also a good choice. Um, fish is an excellent choice. I like tuna. You know my husband likes salmon, tilapia. That's a very good choice also because it has omega 3s, which help a lot. Um, the way that the exercise helped was because I started getting more cardiovascular health that I didn't have previously. I was also on pills for my heart because my heart was kind of like having a little, it worked weird. It was skipping and doing all these weird stuff, but I actually stopped taking the medicine on my own. And when I told the doctor that I my heart is not bothering me anymore like that, they were very surprised. So it just shows that nutrition and exercise is really the key when you have, um, Graves disease and, and overactive thyroid and I really think that just about anything exercise and diet is the key to health period um, other things that that are very good to eat are you know peanut butter but not jiffy or any of those because that is like packed with stuff that you really don't need try to look for peanut butters that are that can be as natural as possible that are only peanuts and salt maybe a little bit of sugar um, I eliminated the sugar too, so I'm trying to stick with with stevia, organic stevia. Um, I don't like, I'm not crazy for Splendas, but maybe some people like it, but you know, I know that it's bad for you, but uh, I think that everything that is done and taken in excessive quantities can be very bad for you. So moder moderation is really the key. Um, so it would really help if you just sit down and calculate exactly what you're eating like every day so you can take a look at it and see you're gonna you're gonna be really really surprised when you see the numbers and uh 
most likely carbs and fats are very high and protein is very very low and that's how your health goes down down the drain when that kind of thing happens personally I try to take one gram of protein per body pound at least and because I'm training with weights I take more I take 1.5 actually so anywhere between 1 and 1.5 one gram is the norm for you just being alive exercise not even taken into account and I try to keep my carbs at about 40 not more than 40 percent of my daily diet and my fats between 20 and 30 just depending um, depending on the day but uh, I try to take different kinds of fats saturated fat is kind of a lot in the coconut oil in the meats that we eat and we're missing out on the mono and poly and that can be taken from avocados guacamole for example um, you can from peanut butter almond butter all of that um, from the dairy I limit myself on about six ounces of yogurt ten at the most a day and uh, the, the cheeses are really like almost almost eliminated because I need my cheese too and when it comes to cheese I just try to get fat free cheese I don't mind a little bit extra carbs that's that's okay because I just mind my numbers so um, I hope this helped a little bit somebody if any any one of you has any questions don't hesitate to, to message me to ask me I, I I'm trying to help as much as possible to as many people as possible so don't hesitate to, to send me a message and ask a question about diet um, and if you're if you find my videos helpful please please like and share help me out spread the word and uh, click clicked on the subscribe button thank you so much bye